good morning. So I'm here at Buttermere. I parked at the National Trust car park just before you get to the Bridge Hotel. What a beautiful morning it is. I've just finished work at half eight this morning. So I've been all night, well, 24 hour shifts, should I say. And I'm off for four days now on my best days. So the plan is maybe to go up to Ranadale Knotts. But first of all, I'm going to walk along to the shores of Cromwell Water and follow Meal back. Now, I've had issues with my knees the past month, so I'm going to test my knees out and see what they're like. Um, so it's going to be sort of make it up as I go along today. I might just walk around the lake shore and Meal back. But hopefully I can get on to one of their knots and show you the view on the top there. So I'm afraid you'll have to bear with me for the next few weeks. Um, yeah, till my knees get sorted out. <laughs> anyway, catch you later. So we've gone wrong in the first five minutes. On the map it says there's a black dotted path that can access on the same side of Millbeck to get to a footbridge further up. Well, you can't. You get to a barbed wire fence, no way across it. So I've got to go back, retrace my steps and hopefully I can get across the footbridge on going the other way. Not much further up here. Yeah, so that's a bit random. So I've not done this path before around Millbeck. So it's all new to me. So that's where we came down from the car park and I got to this point and I went left. No, don't go that way. Go right. I'm really hoping I can get over the footbridge here. We shall see. Good God, this path really is sketchy. I've either got to wade in the river or scramble up there with my dodgy knees. Now I try wading. <laughs> but that is a bridge anyway, so. Okay, we're going to carry on past the bridge so we can get to Cromwell Water. But I'll tell you what, that is a really dodgy section. When you've had rain, you've either got to wade ankle deep into the river a scramble up slippy, mossy, wet rock. When you've got dodgy knees, or if you're not, you know, that mobile, it wouldn't come this way, to be honest. It is beautiful. I don't want to sort that path out. Ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough whinging. <laughs> Look at the view, wow. So we're going to head to Comet Water. Hopefully we can get there along this path. Really random. Oh, I'll tell you what, this has ended up being a complete disaster at the start of this walk. I thought I'd carry on to Cromwell Water, past that bridge. No, I wouldn't do that because it ends up going back to the main road. This is all because I can't be bothered to get my map out and have a look. So, scrap that idea. <laughs> We're doing really well this morning. We're going to go across the bridge and towards Buttermere. I think I need to actually get my map out and have a look at actually where I'm going and how you actually get to Cromwell Water. Yeah. <laughs> right, there you go, a sign. We've gone across the bridge, left Buttermere Village and scale Bridge and Falls. Right to Cromwell Lake Shore only. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> so we're heading on the path. Yay! Across the other side of Millbeck to Cromwell Water Lake Shore. Look at these views.
guys, we've got to come at Water Lake and it's as still as a mill pond. Wow, this is stunning. That you're in a hurry and you need an escape. When all you have is a pile of worries, I help you carry the weight. Just stay lost here with me. into Crumber Water. What a day. I'm here all on my own with Billy Bob. Look at it. As clear as glass. Crumber Water. Got mail break over there. That's why I do not. But we might end up later on, up there. You've got the scale force up there. And you've got Red Pike and the High Star Ridge over there. Look how clear this lake is. Some say I'm too wild Some say I'm too tame So we've come back to the point where we crossed Millbeck over the bridge There's a dog gate and the style And we're now going to head towards Buttermere Lake following Millbeck Sometimes I I'm carrying 
kept them locked down that takes you to the car park by the Fish Hotel you can actually access Buttermere Lake from here <laughs> that was a close up so we've just walked through the Fish Hotel car park and we're going to get to the main road and we're going to cross over it I'll show you in a bit to head up, hopefully, by Nadal Knotts. For the falter of battle Putting on a show If all I've known is fiction Living in the three Could you help me learn to listen Get to know me Take away from my way. Let me be. So we just um, crossed the road by the Bridge Hotel and we've gone through the gate and we're following into Gilwood alongside Millbeck. It's a beautiful little traverse path. Got some nice little mini waterfalls. I'm going to head on to the flanks of one of their knots. path along Mill Beck in Gilwood but what I would say is I wouldn't class it as easy underfoot the path is very much on the edge with steep drops slippy slippy roots muddy and uh, you've got steep drops into the beck so unless you've got good mobility I wouldn't do this path it's in their walking book as an easy walk around Millbeck. I think it won't be long before we're out of these woods onto the flanks of Ranadel Nass. So from the gate you can actually go along the path if you follow along the fence. It takes you into Sailbeck up to um, Aiken Knot and um, Knot Rig and Ardcrags and Sail. You can follow the path along there. We are going to head straight up onto Vanadel Knot, hopefully, depending on if my knee holds out or not. That's looking down. That would take you back down to the road of Buttermere. Beautiful views of Red Pike, the Dodd, High Star, High Crag. Mm -hmm. 
great views over to Red Pike. High crag, high style. Haystacks. Great gable. And there's Robinson. Beautiful chronic water. So we reach a junction of paths. If you take the right fork that goes up to Whiteless Pike and over to eventually Grassmoor, we're going to take the left flank, follow the ridge to Randall Knot Summit. Billy will show you the way. <laughs> So that's looking down into the Ranadale Valley. So you park, well you can park at Cinderdale Beck or Cinderdale Common and you walk along to Ranadale Valley and up or you can actually park right at the bottom of Ranadale Knots which is that lump on the left. That's where you get all the lovely bluebells in Maytime. It's renowned for its bluebells. It's stunning. Carpets and carpets of bluebells. So you would come up Manazel Valley on the path along there. As I said before, you get to the coal, you go left to head up to Whiteless Pike and to Grassmoor. Or you head right from that coal on the path I'm on to the top of Wanadale Knots. It's a beautiful ridge. You should get great views today. Look at that for a ridge. Looking down Ranadale Valley, Cromic Water. Over to Melbrake. Look at the reflections. Just a wild day today. So good to be out after walking in all this fog for weeks and weeks. <laughs> oh, this is tonic for the soul. When it's like this, I'm a happy bunny. Showing you this beautiful day, this beautiful walk. It's not so bad, is it? <laughs> so there's the ridge of Ladhouse. It goes really steep up there, and the path is really eroded. But it's a great way onto Grassmoor. Stunning. Right, there's Pike. Because you can't see Whiteless Edge, that's a fantastic edge. When you descend Whiteless Pike over to Rondobe, that's where we've come. Miss Robinson, Buttermere, Great Gable, Haystacks, the High Style Ridge. an easy walk she says. <laughs> this is the final pull up to Ranadale Knots from this side. 
And there's a little bit of a scramble just on that top section. So I'm going to have to put my GoPro away. Easy when you've got two sticks in your hand and a GoPro in the other. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put it away now. No, I've never been good at knowing the difference. Of when to let it go and when to keep wishing Hope so high and it left me crying so That's the summit over there, we'll go to it in a bit It's worth doing a detour to the edge here do it again. Get the view right down Wrestle in my expectations Well, I lost my trust and it went with no me You could hear it in my voice when I told you the story I said I'm alright, but you know I'm lying Water and Watermere. That's Melbury. That's Scopend. You've got Great Bourne and Starling. Starling Trail is it? And it's Great Bourne. You've got Red Pike. Dodd. High crag and high style. Over to Haystacks, Great Gables, Fleetwood Pike, Robinson, and you've got Whiteless Pike and Grass Mall. And maybe by now I should have learned my lesson. Come up that coal there and up quite steeply up some steps. We head straight up onto Anandale Knots, which makes a nice circular loop because you can go back the way I've been and then back down into the Wendell Valley. Back to the car down there. But you can see where you can park the car there. And you can park down here somewhere. So this is the summit of Wanadel Knots. It's a lovely cracking little vale. Such a cool, knobbly, gnarly ridge. So there's one little scrambly section, but the rest is quite easy. Wrestle in my expectations Old hope is a stubborn thing Just a sliver of light And I'm dreaming of the morning oh, Wrestle in my expectations Okay, so I'm coming the same way back that I went up when I do not. So I should probably say goodbye now as there won't be much difference to the path as it's a linear. As I said, like, just doing easier walks at the moment because of my back and my knees. But it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful summit. Fantastic views. 
That's the ridge back with Robinson in the distance. What a view. So I shall say bye for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. I think it will be about five miles, five and a half miles in the end and about 1500 feet of ascent, something like that. But I'll put a map on at the end. I say at the start, I went a bit wrong because I wasn't looking at my map. So my map might be a little bit out at the start. But yeah, it's a really good route. It's a beautiful path along Milbeck. And as I say, this morning, first thing on Crummock Water, the reflections were astounding, beautiful, and all on my own. No one else there. So, bye for now. Hope you enjoy. If you like my content, subscribe, press the share button, like, and all of that. It's all appreciated. Thank you. Back when I was ten years old With a rose and a valentine I thought that love was bought and sold With candy hearts that say be mine just heading back to the National Trust car park for a parked car. But it's not like the movie show. It's not like the story.